Hi guys, it's Michaela here, as you probably already know, from Mermaids Forever or LPS Adventure 1. And I got a new camera, so if you see me playing with it throughout this video, that's probably normal. <laughs> as you probably know, I'm here today to finally- hold on. To finally present you with a do-it-yourself mermaid tale video. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. Really cool. And, you know, it's perfect since I just reached a thousand subscribers and all. So think of it as a special. And, by the way, I love all of you guys for all your support. I just, like, need a hug. Alright. Well, yeah. Just need a hug again. Another hug. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, yeah. Wait, no. Alright. Okay. Ready? Because I, I totally am. If you're ready or... You know, we don't have to. I, I mean, we do. You deserve a hug for me, because I love all of you guys. You're so amazing. So, hug right now. You ready? All right. Mm, that was so nice. I see that little smile on your face. You like a nice, warm hug from Michaela. Here's another one. All right, love you guys. You probably will get a lot more hugs from me in this video. And a lot more zooming up on my face and zooming out. This is so awesome. I love this. This will be kind of the basics. Ow. So guys, this will be kind of like the basics for making a tail. And for me, Michaela and Anastasia's tail, um, it took a while for their tails to actually look good. So I don't expect my mermaid tail method to actually, well, it might not quite work for you. And I'm sorry if it doesn't. First, I would like to say that this is my own personal way of making mermaid tails, and I'd prefer if you'd get creative with your own way, but feel free to use mine, just give me some credit. Please give me, please make sure to give me credit, because these tails, they're really unique on LPS Tube, and I worked so hard on them, and the credit goes to my account, LPS Adventure 1, which you'd know if you were watching this, obviously, but, I mean, yeah. Okay, the first step is transformation which is just like the code for saying doubles of Little's Pet Shops. So these are examples. Oh, let's see. These are examples of doubles. Get over there. So, I mean, if you want to, because the tails can't really come off. So you kind of need doubles if you want to do the whole transformation thing in your video. But if you don't have any doubles, that's totally okay. You just won't show them like drying off and all that. But that's just what the transformation bit is. So you need like doubles like these girls, for example. For example, this is my double. They don't have to look, they don't have to be like an exact double because she has green eyes and I have blue eyes and she doesn't really look that much like me, but you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, we're both beagles and we're both brown, so that's all that matters really. Okay, now that we've got that covered, get a little pet shop, any one, but I prefer it to be like a dachshund or a beagle because those were easy, you know, I'm a beagle and Anastasia's a dachshund. But you can get a cat also to be, you know, Stella because she's a mermaid too. But um, you know, don't really get a one that looks like a boy because the boys, uh, there aren't really boy mermaids unless they're mermans, which, um, yeah, that would be kind of weird in a video. But if you want to, you can do a boy. I mean, it's it's okay, but I prefer like a, um, a girl. Yeah. Now that you've picked out your, choi your choice of any little pet shop, like I'm using this as an example, let's get started. Okay, before we start, I just have to tell you that um, this tail that I'm making probably won't be perfect. It's just like an, exa an example for you, but, you know, don't expect perfection, okay? Like me and Anastasia's tails, <laughs> but yeah, just to let you know, so you know that. The first thing on the material list to gather is these. This is like the main part of the tail, this part right here. It's called a gushy grip or a pencil grip. So these fuzzy pencil grips, which just all fell on me as, okay, you can see them right here. Well, yeah, these fuzzy pencil grips, you can get like, um, I got mine on eBay, for example, but 
Uh, I'm sure they have them at like Walmart or something because Walmart has like everything there. Or Target, you know, just like a normal craft place. Maybe Michaels has them. Yeah, but just so you know, I got mine on eBay. Or I'm sure Amazon has them too. Just type in like, uh, I typed in fuzzy uh, pencil grip and it came up and it, it came in a 12 pack. So that'd be pretty good. Okay, now that you have uh, your choice of color, which I think there's more colors, but these are the kinds that I have right now. Pick the one that fits your pet best. For example, um, it would be this one because she has green eyes and this is a green um, pencil grip. Now that you have your choice, um, you have to like fit it on their butt. Like, um, hold on. Yeah, like this. So you have to like fit it on there and it needs to be a little wide for that. So I would like suggest kind of here, hold on. I would suggest like widening it if you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of like widening the bottom because like there's a hole for the pencil to go into. So just kind of like stretching it out, getting ready. Once you feel like you've stretched it kind of a lot, then is the next step. After widening the pencil grip, you have to do the hard work. The hard work being fitting the pencil grip onto your choice of pet's bottom. For me, that was like the really hard part because you have to like fit it on. So she or he, whichever you want to do, if you want to do a merman, ugh, should look kind of like this. It looks like really weird, like because you didn't put everything else on, but yeah, that's what you should look like. And um, it's really weird. So at this step, don't expect her to look anything like anything else. Now for the fin. For this part, there are multiple things you could do. Like for example, with mine, I used like a skirt, but I hot glued it on there because you could like see the opening kind of like right here, but I glued that together too. For Anastasia's, I did like um, a cutie bag kind of thing. Like, you know those bags that cuties come in, they're like red? Well, I cut off like the top of it and just like shoved it in her tail. Yeah. For um, Michaela's, I just kind of wrapped it around the end of her tail. And then for Anastasia's, I just kind of stuck it in the other side of the hole. Like the other side where the pencil would come out if you were sticking a pencil in there. But we're not, we're making mermaid tails. And for Stella's, I also used a skirt, and um, this actually came off of those, um, you know those My Little Pony Equestria dolls? That's where this came off of, and um, I just kind of wrapped it around also, and I glued it so it won't come off. So there's a pretty wide range of stuff you can do for the um, fin part. You could choose any of those options or get creative yourself. What we're going to do for this girl over here is... Uh, part of an avocado bag so uh, look it says organic avocados and this is the part here let me um show what it like is it's kind of we're gonna go in the direction of Anastasia's tail a little bit but see like the avocado bag right here it's like you know we're just gonna have to take the tag off of it okay so now that I cut this I cut the tag off of it I think what we do is have the little purple scissors here. So we cut off a little portion of it, you know, like what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you the steps. Okay, so you cut off like a little piece as um, I'm doing here. Then cut the other way. Now a good thing to do would be st to stick something hard onto it, kind of just like at the bottom to form the tail. And for this, we need some tape. So now that we got it in kind of like Anastasia's form, you just like stick this on and then I'm gonna get a piece of tape. Now I'm gonna tape this around. If you're doing the kind of tail that I'm using as an example, then you'd stick it in the bottom right here. Okay, so now that you suck that in, it should look pretty normal except the front because you need um, this part. Okay, I'm almost done and you should be too if you're following the steps. 
You don't have to do this next step if you think it looks fine already, but I did it just because it didn't. So this part right here, you know, it doesn't look very good. It looks kind of um, weird. And that's why I added this, as I already said. And what I used for this was, you know those monster high dolls? Like, um, I'm sure you know what they are. But that Gloom Beach one. So I got that, and I got, I'm pretty sure I got the Frankenstein one and the Draculaura, and I just kind of wrapped it around, like her torso area, and it had Velcro, but then I glued the Velcro down, so I can't take it off and show you as an example, but I also did that to um, Anastasia, as you can see, because like the Velcro was like on the bow right there, but I like taped it, I glued it on, so it, you, I can't show you an example, which I wish I could. And with Stella's, I cut a dress, and it was really hard to do. And then there was Velcro, but it didn't really work, so I had to kind of like glue it down, like onto her her um, fur. But it, it kind of worked, you know. Uh, another thing that you could use is like a skirt, kind of just to wrap around there to even the feeling out about the tail. So that's what we're gonna use today. These are just a few ideas of what you can wrap around the tail, but um, do whatever you want. I mean, get really creative on this. This is your tail, do what you want, you know? So you just slip your piece of material, which would be this for me, just slip it onto the mermaid and um, wrap it around her torso like I did, and Velcro or glue, whatever you need to do to make sure it's stable. So now you have your mermaid, um, kind of have this little part here and everything you need. Uh, by the way, this is just an example tail. It's not really that good. I just kind of like did it on my own time. Just I did it actually like right now doing the video. So I'm sorry if this is nothing like um, my Taylor Anastasia's or Stella's, but you know, it's pretty good. Um, I hope yours turns out better though. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I love you guys. Bye.